take my whole life through, but I can't help falling in love with you, but I can't help falling in love Everybody hear me all right? You can want to. Uh, I'll be very loud so you can. Okay. Few fathers have the privilege afforded me today, this morning on this speech, the honor of performing the wedding ceremony of my firstborn son. I can do this. <laughs> today is a truly a wonderful day. Today, Michelle and Jeff are blessed with one of the greatest gifts of all gift of abiding love and devotion. We're all here to celebrate the relationship of Michelle and, Je Michelle, Michelle and Jeff, I'm trying, and to be witnesses and supporters of the commitment they share, and to celebrate one of life's greatest moments, along with adding our blessings to these words and this ceremony, which shall unite these two in loving marriage. True marriage is the union of two hearts. It lives on the love you give each other each day. Never grows up. Marriage is love. May you always be able to talk things over, to confide in each other, to laugh with each other, to enjoy life and love together. And may you also be able to share moments at the end of the day, peace and quiet. May your life be full of happiness, joy, and love. May your home be one of special warmth and understanding. May you have the strength to endure the hard times. May you have the wisdom to cherish the great times and have the ability to laugh with each other in the fun times. Michelle and Jeff, I'm so grateful all of you are here this morning and want to recognize how important each and every one of you are to their relationship. As I look around this speech and the gathering of family and friends, even in my own mind, I start counting the number of miles and the hours it took each and every one to get here. You've traveled so far to be part of this very special day and this overwhelming. The entire family wants to thank you and express our appreciation. Now, with that being said, who gives this woman away in marriage to this man? Thank you, Mark. You did very You're well. welcome. <laughs> Michelle and Jeff, both of you were given life as two unique individuals. Then you met, you worked together, and soon a special friendship was formed. We'll leave the other part out. <laughs> then love grew, bringing you and us to this special place, this special day. And though life will continue to hold challenges with a commitment to love and a promise to respect, Michelle and Jeff, you will continue this journey together, not as two, but as one, overcoming any and all obstacles you may encounter. Marriage gives permanence and structure to a couple's love. Marriage is telling the person that you're not going anywhere. That's a powerful commitment to make. Here you are with your forever partner, the one person in life you can count on. That's powerful and life-changing. The road that brings two people together is often filled with challenges you are not prepared for. But together, you can take each one on and beat those experiences and problems that strengthen your love. Michelle and Jeff, you will now continue your journeys, not as individuals, but together as a couple, always knowing, even if not together all the time, each will always be there for the other, no matter what. As you prepare to pledge your vows to each other, I ask you to remember that love, rooted in trust and acceptance, will be the foundation of a lasting and deepening relationship. No other ties are more tender, no other vows more sacred than those you're about to make. By keeping these vows you make today, your life will have joy home you establish will be one which you'll always find love, comfort, and peace. Jeff, please say these words to Michelle. I take you, Michelle, I take you, Michelle, to be my wife, my partner in life, to be my wife, my partner in life, and my one true love, and my one true love. I will trust you and honor you. I will trust you and honor you. I will laugh with you and cry with you. I will 
laugh at you and cry with you. <laughs> we'll love you today, tomorrow, and forever. We'll love you today, tomorrow, and forever. And I, as I've given you my hands to hold, as I've given you my hands to hold, I will give you my life to keep. Michelle, now you say these words to Jeff. I take you, Jeff, to be my husband, my partner in life, and my one true love. I will trust you and honor you. I will laugh at you and cry with you. I will love you today, tomorrow, and forever. As I've given you my hands to hold, I will give you my life to keep. Okay, Michelle and Jeff will now exchange rings. Each one get your ring. Just pretend. We'll just pretend. <laughs> the wedding ring is an outward and visible sign of an inward and invisible bond which unites two hearts. The ring is a circle that has no end. And it symbolizes never-ending love. Look at these rings every day and let you always be reminded that love surrounds you and the love that is with you today at this special moment. Jeff, please take Michelle's hand. Push it partially on. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of our love. As a symbol of our love. For today and tomorrow. For today and tomorrow. And for all the days to come. For all the days to come. Okay, Michelle, please take Jeff's hand and repeat these words. I give you this ring as a symbol of our love for today and tomorrow and for all the days to come. Thank you. <laughs> Michelle and Jeff, you have now publicly professed your love by exchanging your vows. You have symbolized the commitment by exchanging the rings. But there's still one more question I need to ask each of you. I need you to answer. Michelle, do you take Jeff to be your husband, to live together or apart in the covenant of marriage? Or do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? Jeff, do you take Michelle to be your wife, to live together or apart in the covenant of marriage? Well, that's the truth. So I had to put that in there. Do you promise to love him? Comfort him, honor, love her, comfort her, honor and keep her, sickness and in health, forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. I do. Yeah. Michelle and Jeff, as the two of you come into this marriage, uniting as husband and wife, and as this day you affirm your love and commitment to one another, I would ask you to always remember to cherish each other as special and unique individuals, that you respect the thoughts, the ideas, the suggestions of one another, be able to love, forgive, Live each day sharing it together. And as from this day forward, you shall be each other's rock, your home, your comfort, and the rest of Your marriage is strengthened by your love and respect for each other. Michelle and Jeff, in so much as the two of you have agreed to join your lives together in matrimony, have promised and reaffirmed your love for each other by the joining of your hands and the exchanging of your rings. I, your proud, happy father, now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Hey, let's be formal. There you go.
Oh, that was difficult.